morning. You came out like, and you looked like Christmas. It was like, <laughs> it was really good. Are you in the holiday spirit? Are you all decorating uh, anything? I am. I'm, I'm going to do my, or I, you know, I grew up not celebrating Christmas. So now with my son, I overly celebrate oh, Christmas. Oh, yeah. I grew up with no money. So now I overdo it with my kids. <laughs> yeah. Me too. Yeah, I, I do crazy. ornaments. I collect ornaments for the yeah. tree. And I try to collect them wherever I go on tour. Yeah. And then I kind of talk about them with my son. And sometimes he was with me when we got them. And sometimes he wasn't. And Does he like decorating? My son loves decorating. He loves decorating it. Yeah, yeah, he's getting a little too old and cool for it now. But I okay. make him because I really want him to remember. Yeah. You know, what these, these sort Force of signified. Force family fun. Yeah. So good. And also <laughs> he's got kidding. these like... He used to be into dinosaurs. I don't yeah. know what your kid, yeah. Oh, he loves dinosaurs. He's My now kid. basketball, but for three years, he was going to be a paleontologist, and uh, or I thought he was going to be. I love and, it. Yeah, and so I had a dinosaur, a T-Rex ornament that went on, uh, don't be mad at me, but it went on the top as the star instead. It was Why a mad at you? I don't know, because some people probably want something more religious up well, there. Well, then but... they can put whatever they want on their tree. <laughs> well, why have a dinosaur on your tree? You can put a dinosaur on your tree. It's all right. Doesn't mean anything other than we like dinosaurs. Yeah, that's all. Well, speaking of your son in basketball, um, it looks like he's got you coaching him um, now. So let's see how this looks. Okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah! Do you see my alley -oop? Look at that assist. That was amazing. Did you hear though? Did you hear I placed that, Kelly? Because you, you know, because you're a singer. So it was like, yes! <laughs> yeah. it was, that's really good. She knows. So I'm not hurting my voice. Yeah. I like to, I can do my, my very, my joy is, is like up there in the range. See, and people don't supported. realize that like that's, I can't actually listen to my voice, my speaking voice, like anything, because I sound nasally to me. Because you, you it, do? It's, you don't sound well, it's nasally. Easier, it's easier on my vocal cords. And yeah. we sing so often, we work so much. It's easier when you're, coming up and it's a little nasal yeah. and it's a little higher. Yeah. And so it's probably and, annoying to y'all, but we don't care. But also, <laughs> if I'm ever in the car and there's like somebody stops short and I'm worried or something, I'll be like, watch out, you know? <laughs> or if I'm on a roller coaster. Oh I'm my God. Roller coaster, I go like, hands up. This is so scary. I even did it. You're going to think I'm weird, but when I was in labor, I was like, the baby's coming. <laughs> Because God knows if I had a concert to go to, I didn't want to hurt my vocal cords, you know? Oh, my know? God, if you would have just screamed out slash sang Let It Go in that moment, you would have made a lot of Let people's lives. That would, have been, that would have made a lot of people's moments in life. <laughs> All right. That's how you get it, that. right? I do, but now I want to ride roller coasters with you. Because <laughs> I just, my. Hands up! It's just like, <laughs> into the unknown! <laughs> <and the baby. laughs> While they're going. Oh, I can't stop I'm crying. crying. <laughs> oh my God, I love you so much. Oh my God, wait. Was your son impressed by the fact that there was an entire, because I'm impressed, there was an entire category um, on Jeopardy, and I want to get the title right. It was recently called Adina Menzel Acts and Sings. <laughs> That's incredible. I, you weren't. There was an entire category. I guess that's a big thing. I will confess, don't be mad at me, Jeopardy. I've never watched this show. Oh my God. I had so many people text That could have been one of the things. For I 500, what show has she never anymore. seen? Yeah. But it was Jeopardy. It's, it was amazing. It was like the best you, press I've ever sometimes, gotten. Sometimes, I think the best I've ever had, I've heard is, I was like one of the things on Jeopardy, but like not a category. Really? I was oh, like. I'm sorry. Yeah. Burr, burr, burr. Don't be sorry. Well. Wave that flag. I'm amazing. I'm amazing. <laughs> Just keep waving it. I'm <laughs> Do you want to try a couple now? I want to see if you'll get them yeah, right. Yeah, because I don't even remember what they asked me. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, I'm going to, here we go. Okay. Here's Adina Menzel, Acts and Sings for 1,000. <laughs> you, Adina, got to walk like an Egyptian on Broadway in this Elton John slash Tim Rice musical. What do you say? Wait, how do you do it? Uh, who's, how do you do it in the question? What is? Oh, what, what is? is? Oh, Aida. Oh, yes, you're yeah. right, you're right. Hey, here's the thing. I apparently don't watch either because I didn't know that. <laughs> I was like, you what couldn't help me at all. What is it? You're right, you're right. Okay. Okay, here's Adina Menzel for 800. In 1996, you made your Broadway debut in Rent. Thank you. Your character, a performance artist named Maureen, was based on Musetta in this Puccini opera. Oh, what, what is, is Rent? Rent. Did they say Wait, Rent? No, no, no. Oh. Oh, La Boheme? What is La Boheme? Yeah, yeah, because oh, okay, it was your sorry. character. Oh, I'm you. Sorry, sorry, sorry. She failed! <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't 
paying attention. No, I gotta be honest with you, the way I asked that question was so not I okay. Just, uh, yeah. 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 No, so I was lost fault. in the question. I don't even know if they'll do a recap, but I was literally like, while I was asking. <laughs> but yes, it's been, I didn't actually know that. You didn't? No. Yeah, original cast, uh, 1995, 96. No, I knew you. Oh. I didn't know that the character was. Oh, based on Love Alone. Yeah, no, yeah, I knew yeah, yeah. you. I just yeah. didn't, yeah, so hold I didn't that. The whole show is based on Love Alone. I never got that yeah. as a teenager, like yeah. in high school when that was shown to me. Anyway, um, let's try, we're learning so much today. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's try one more. This soprano singer is Adina Menzel's favorite talk show host of all time. I don't, it's so weird. What is Kelly Clarkson? <laughs> I mean, it wasn't a, it wasn't a real was Jeopardy question. question. It wasn't a real Jeopardy oh, question. I, I just wanted I like, to hear you say question. it. <laughs> <laughs> so your new documentary is called Which Way to the Stage. So what's it about? I was on, t I was going to go on tour, and I found out I was playing Madison Square Garden at the end of like 16, 17 shows. And Ooh. growing up in Long Island, that was like the place to play in yeah. New York, and I always wanted to play there. And so I thought, I just want to document it, you know, and just because I like to take in these moments and not take them for granted. We forget them know? sometimes too. Yeah. Yeah. So I documented it, then I had all this great footage, so then I made a documentary because I thought it was going to be like a road to the garden kind of story, yeah. but it ended up being like a mom going crazy kind of story. Which and is way more exciting to watch. <laughs> well, it's just like career, working mom, trying to be, trying to get back and forth for trick-or-treating and basketball games, yeah. doing IVF at the time, which I'm not, you know, I, it, I was late in the game. I had my beautiful little son, but in my 40s, I tried for my my husband and well for me I tried for both of us it didn't can I say it again no no like, you're good you're the, okay because that's I, a lot I don't people. want the audience to feel bad for me it didn't yeah. work out but <laughs> I'm I tried hard and um and I was doing it in the, I, the morning of Madison Square Garden oh my I had God. to go to the doctor and check my hormones and do all of this stuff and so the documentary ended up being much more less about a girl trying to have a rock, great rock concert at MSG and more about just trying to like live my life and you know what good, though that's the real story story yeah that's that really ended what, up being the real story no but that is the real story like because people only see the smoke and mirrors of it that's what's so great about you letting people peek behind the curtain I think that's super important that they know you're more than just the product of what they see you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying like there's more to that I think yeah. everybody loves that but so one of cool. the beautiful moments in it that I really love is um, when my son would be with me on tour which can be just as tiring <laughs> as trying to go back and forth because then it's like how many children's museums can I see all over the yep. country on my day off you yeah. know and they're like why don't you wake up and I'm like, oh, because I go on stage in like nine hours, <laughs> um, and I just need to like not talk for. I know, like, and then I was so like, guilty yeah. about that. Yeah, but this is when he started playing basketball, and um, mm -hmm. he's this. You know, he keeps like swearing off the performing gene in him. But what he would do is when we were doing sound check with the lights and the band is rocking, and he would come out and with the drummer, he'd do his handles to the beat with the drummer oh, I love and that. like enjoy the, the lights coming on and yeah. they work off each other like jazz, but like, you That's know. That's cool. And, um, and so there's, a, there's some scene like that that I think is really beautiful. You see a silhouette like this and I'm singing in the front, the drummer's doing his thing. And then he walks over and he just puts his head on me while I'm like trying to sing and give yeah. him sound. Yeah, so it's I, always cool. Like it's important I think for our kids to see how, you know, hard we I think especially little boys to see like their moms, you know, being powerful mm -hmm. and choosing to do what they love is a passion and that's not a bad thing, you know. Yeah. I, I so I hope he picks a really good woman one day. Yeah. Or man, whatever. Yeah. But like yeah, I whatever have a feeling you're it's a woman, but I don't yeah. know and I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so do you have you ever felt like you've ever been pigeonholed musically? Because people kind of they get one sound from you and then they expect that. I think yeah. like it happens to a lot of us. I do. Like I can't break the, no matter how many songs I do, I played Led Zeppelin on my tour, you know, I have yeah. this whole side to me, but people mostly think that I just come from musical theater, and no matter how hard I try, it, that thing on uh, like Spotify, it says, if you like this, you will also like, and it's like yeah. Liberace or like, yeah. um, something Which that's is like, rad. you know, that's yeah. cool. But yeah. um, no, I just, and, it's, and it doesn't matter how, <laughs> you, I, I, could, I could sing a duet with you and yeah. it would still say, you know, something from Oklahoma, you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's just really hard to get people to see you in, in these other ways. You and, have such a huge voice though, that like it totally makes sense with like the rock and roll vibe. Yeah. It's yeah. Just my, I'm I want a head bang. Or yeah. Head. As I'm getting older, I feel like it gets harder and harder to convince people that I can do it, especially if it hurts me. See, neck. I think it's <laughs> I think it's easier the older I get. I, I feel like because I just not that I like cared care. so much when I was younger. It's just that like 
I felt like we're forced to like people put on what you're supposed to be doing and it's like, okay, well I'm not trying to like ruffle anyone's feathers, but then it's like, no, I like a lot of different things. Like yeah, I'm gonna do whatever you did I like. Country, and maybe you like you did it that album when you were in the black and you did more rock and roll yeah. and you had the pop. You I like I'm, a lot of stuff. Yeah. yeah. I think a lot of singers. And you trained yeah. from opera first. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So it's It it's, is it's, how people present how you're presented to the public though, and the first thing it's yeah, hard it's to really get out hard of that. To get box. Out of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So. Oh well, I think you're awesome. Thank you. All right. I think you're awesome. Um, time for another break, everybody. Watch Adina Menzel, Which Way to the Stage, streaming on Disney Plus starting December 9th. And we should mention that Adina also has a kids' book, and oh, it's yeah. out right now. It's cold. I left one for it. you, signed I know by you my signed sister. It. And I love myself. it. I know. It's called Loud Mouse. Um, so check out. Check that out wherever you get your Good book. Good Christmas gift. Did you just yeah. say that already? No, but oh. I should have. <laughs> yeah. You should now host. I'm telling you, if I can do it, you can. I have mommy brain. Oh my no, God. me too, me okay. too.